Hello everybody, this is another lesson that uh, we'll talk about the in statement and the difference between the in statement and the intersection in MySQL because um, the intersection doesn't exist, the word intersection doesn't exist in, in MySQL. The union, yes, you can do a union between two tables and generate the data from table one and table two, but you cannot do an uh, intersection uh, without using uh, what we call a subquery or a correlated query. So we're gonna talk at that, uh, about that in a, in a minute. So I have a few tables here, a customer table and invoice line and product that I uh, created a join between those two tables to get the list of customers that ordered products. And then, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> if I um, uh, generate the list of customers. I have uh, the customer code, customer line, because that's what I use. I use the fields from the customer table in my select statement. Okay. Now, uh, from this list, I want to. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm not talking about the joins because I already recorded the lessons that talks about joins between tables. So uh, I'm just going to talk about the in statement and then the intersection in this lesson. In this lesson. So um, from this list of customers, I only want to get the customers that ordered this product or this product. It's very important to focus on the, uh, the or. Um, here, now, if I want the list of, uh, I'm going to go ahead and generate the, the, the query. Now, in my statement, I use the in statement to get the customers that ordered this one or this one. So now, this is the list of ordered this product you know i'm using product code or this product one of them you know uh, now uh, a lot of people they get confused when for example they are asked to generate the customers that ordered this one and this one so if that's what you are asked for you cannot use the in statement because this one is going to give you this one or this one so dune could have ordered just this one and then smith could have ordered just this one and that's why they show in the list you know but for example smith would not have ordered this one and this one together you know in, in, from this one we get the list of customers that also ordered this one so in order to get the list of customers that ordered both kind of in the same time or you know uh, they figured out in the list of customers uh, twice because they ordered this one and this one we need an intersection uh, basically what we do is and there are two ways of doing it. I have two queries here. I'm going to get you to the second one first. So this one here, right? Um, and I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. So for this one, I'm going to create an intersection. Basically, what I will do is create the list, generate the list of customers that bought, that bought this product, that first one, right? And then from this list, okay, from this list, I'm going to get a subquery. I'm going to create a subquery, a subquery that will correlate to the previous query because from this list of customers that ordered this one, and I'm creating an end statement of invoice customer code. So, invoice customer co code is coming from the customer table, of course, or um, I'm sorry, the, the invoice table. And invoice customer code in the list of customers that ordered this one. So, I'm not only going to generate the list of customers that ordered this. I'm not going to generate the list of customers that ordered this one, but I'm going to generate the list of customers that ordered this one. And in, in addition to ordering this one, they also ordered this one. Okay, so I'm creating an intersection between the two. Basically, uh, you know, if I generate this list, you will notice that uh, I'm only going to get Orlando. So Orlando is the only customer that ordered both products. Okay, so it's very different from the previous one where we had, we had more than just Orlando. You know, or, uh, we had Don Smith because they ordered either this one or this one. So this one here, it creates an intersection. Again, you rate the list of a uh, query of the list of customers that ordered the first product. And what you add to it is an, a, 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 a subquery, a correlated query that uh, it grabs the you know the list of customers from this one and adds to it another query so and invoice customer code from the invoice table in and you know you create another select statement you know the select customer code from the invoice table join line on invoice uh, where the product code equals uh, the second product code you can either create your joins this way join line on invoice or you can create them in the, the other way you know of creating joins where 
you create the joint customer code equal invoice code or you know either I'm, I'm, I'm creating the joints uh, in in the first query in one way and I'm creating it in the second query in a different way just for you to know that you know you can create joints in different ways you know there are different ways of of creating joints so don't get confused if you see that, that this one is different from this one I could very well create a joints here the same way I did here by you know uh, linking the in the word statement you know the the, the primary key and foreign key uh, now another way of doing the same exact thing is what you do is you create uh, because uh, keep in mind that when you write a select statement with the where and condition basically what you are doing is you're writing a table you know it's uh, so what I did here is I created two tables first table if of customers that create that ordered this one and I called it CP1 alias CP1 and then uh, here you know there is a, a comma you know because those are tables so they are in the from statement first table is the customer table second table is this table that I created and I call CP1 of customers that ordered this one and then a third table you know separated by a comma of customers that created the second product okay and what I did is that now I have three tables the customer table then this one that I created and then this third one three tables and I created the joins between those three tables first join is the customer uh, code with the CP1 customer code and the second join of CP1 with CP2 so I created a join between this one and this one and then I created a, another join with between this one and this one um, remember that the number of joins is always n minus one the number of tables minus one we have three tables then we have two joins two joins and um, uh, here since uh, why I'm adding the customer table is because I need the customer code and the customer last name that's why I am adding the customer table here to get the, the, those fields from the customer table and creating those joins to get the you know the results that I need so if I highlight this query and I run it as you can see it gave me the exactly the same results you know Orlando is the only person that ordered this one and this one I hope that was helpful uh, keep in mind there is a big difference between you know getting the customers that ordered one or the other one or the other you're gonna get a lot more in your list versus you know getting the customers that ordered both at once both in the same time you know in other words in addition to buying product one they also product uh, or purchase product two and that's uh, basically an intersection that you can create either by using a subquery or a correlate, correlated a query or uh, by creating you know two tables of your own and then creating the joints i hope that was helpful thank you for watching have a wonderful day